last video, I figured out that two projectiles in Space Engineers can collide, just like this. I didn't mention it there, but you all pointed it out. As you can see, the guns actually fire the bullets with the casings, which is pretty funny. I also discovered that you can actually stand on top of them with your mag boots, just like this. So naturally, of course, I want to figure out now if you can actually take them for a ride and uh, yeah, see, see how fast you can fly with them. But first, let's try out the other guns, because I've slowed them down as well. Um, the railgun is pretty interesting because for some reason there's a second particle effect behind it. I don't know what it's doing there. And again, it's firing the projectile with the sabot still on it. <laughs> again, a bit funny. If you have two pointing at each other, they collide, just like the artillery guns. And um, something is weird with these particles, because as soon as you get close to them, the FPS drops to like two or so. If you touch them, unfortunately, they just immediately blow up, which kind of makes it impossible to each ride on them. The missiles aren't that fast by default anyway, so they are pretty much just like in vanilla. Um, you know, I just slowed them down a bit, but they look more or less the same. And again, as soon as you touch them, they just immediately blow up. I did also slow down the projectiles for the handguns. It's kind of useless because they don't have any like models, there's just some streaks of light. But I think it still looks pretty interesting. So as you can see here, it's just this no model, just this bit of light. The same works for Gatling guns of course, so let me just paste a little ship in here. Actually, it looks pretty, pretty cool. I think it's like a whole rain of projectiles. If you fly through it, it's, I think it's quite mesmerizing. But now for the real test: Can you actually ride on the projectiles? So I set up this cross here again between uh, two guns. It just makes it a bit easier because now there's two of them and it just, you know, a bit a bit of an easier target to hit while they're flying. And I'm just gonna try and get on top of it. Yeah, that was pretty easy actually. I mean, I did slow them down a ton, so if they're so slow, it's easy. Theoretically, you could do the exact same thing in vanilla at like 800 meters a second. It would just be a whole lot harder and of course you need a speed limit mod. I'm just gonna try using a gravity generator here. Maybe we can accelerate like that. Let's see if that works. Okay, yeah, that does not seem to work very well. I just accelerated myself, not the projectile. It doesn't seem to be very impressed. All right, I guess they are not affected by artificial gravity at all. They are affected by planet gravity, but apparently not artificial. Turns out you can just accelerate them in the file where you also define speed. Sometimes it's really that easy. So I did that, now they're accelerating, and let me just try to get on top of them again and see how fast we can go. It's a bit harder now, of course. Ah, almost. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, now we're accelerating. In Vanilla, they are, I think, 800 meters per second. Let's see if we can beat that. It's well over a thousand already. I don't know what I set the range to. I need to increase it, of course, so they don't blow up immediately. But at some point, I think we're gonna reach the max range. And yeah, I think that was it. So it seems like you can just ride them at pretty high speeds. I don't know how far this could theoretically be possible, but a thousand meters per second apparently is. There's one more idea you guys mentioned, and I really want to try that out, which is to capture the projectile with a landing gear. It's accelerating again here. Um, I want to see if maybe it can accelerate the whole ship with it. That would be cool. That would be like a 
sort of like a clang drive or something, I don't know, that would be amazing. It's not that easy to attach it, but I, ho I hope it works. Oh, that was a bit hard. Oh wow, okay, did you see that? That was cool. It like destroyed a bunch of blocks before it actually blew up. Alright, second try. This time, I'm confident it's gonna work. Just gonna catch it real quick. It's almost like like docking in KSP, this is what it feels like. Ah, there we go. Alright, this is cool. It seems like it's actually still accelerating. But the ship attached, it's 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 really pulling the ship along. That's amazing. I wonder why it's turning around like that. And it's also slowing down. Maybe you can like slow it all the way down to zero or something. Ah, now it's going faster again, alright. Interesting. I don't know what's happening here. No idea. Oh, now it's gone. Is this... I think it's going in the opposite direction. Is it? Right, I gotta check this real quick. So this is the gun, and that's that's the projector is actually flying in the opposite direction now. It did a 180 turn. Okay, apparently you can just make projectiles fly in a curve if you move them around the landing. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> 